everyone, Zoe here. Today I want to talk to you about living your best life because you deserve it and I'm going to be giving you my number one tip on how I actively choose to live my best life every single day. So let's get started. So I am going to get all spiritual on you guys so I hope that you follow with me and I hope that if you are a bit skeptical just stay open-minded because I think that this tip could really help you. So while I was at Rhythmia and going through the whole ayahuasca self-discovery experience, I really, really, really came to understand that there is the ego and there is the soul. So the ego and the way that I'm going to be speaking about it, if I re refer back to the ego, is the chatter inside of your head. The chatter inside of your head that isn't necessarily your best friend, it's just kind of that roommate that hangs out there who loves to thrive on fear. It is our protective brain. It is the one that, you know, if you have a doubt in your mind, if you feel anxious in your mind, that's the one that you, you have a really hard time shutting up, but you're just gonna have to learn to live your life with. And then there is also the soul, and the soul is your truest, highest self, yourself that is made of light and love. And through the ayahuasca experience, seeing is believing, I saw as for what we all were, which is beautiful beings of love and light who are an expression of the universe. And this body that I'm sitting in right now is just a vessel that I will have for a short period of time in the whole span of the universe. But once I pass on from this body, I will, you know, <laughs> go out into the spirit world and I will come back as something else. This is truly what I believe and it's what I saw. So another thing I came to understand through ayahuasca is that we come onto this life through our ancestral background and also our soul background. So there are young souls, old souls, new souls. People often refer to me as an old soul, let's say. So this means that I have had many lifetimes of consistent learning and choosing to actively improve from my experiences here on earth. And the ancestral is you know, my DNA. Took my DNA test, not Italian, but it's okay. <laughs> so this is my DNA. At Rhythmia, they suggest for you to bring a baby photo of yourself. By looking at yourself as a child, a child is a pr true expression of the beauty, the belief that anything is possible. You know how children just play and they don't have a care in the world. And somewhere along the way as we're growing up, we tend to lose ourselves. We detach from the feelings that anything is possible, that the world is our oyster, that anything we wish and desire can come to fruition. Somewhere along the line, or usually before the age of five, something traumatic happens to us. And as I explained in my ayahuasca journey, this was my relationship with my mother and her not wanting a relationship with me. And when that happened in my life, through whether an experience of her yelling at me or something, my ego took the front seat of my life because the ego comes in to protect you. So the ego came in to protect me from the life's experiences by telling me if I have a worry or if I have a doubt, yes, you should be scared, let's not do that, let's not do this. It plays it safe, if that makes sense. And after I went through the ayahuasca experience, I had the opportunity to reunite with my soul and allow my soul to take the front seat of my life, which means that I am so much more in tune with my intuition now, I feel guided, I feel like nothing bad, can ever happen to me and I trust that the universe has my back and this is something I felt like I knew before after reading all these books after experiencing life but there's something really intense about seeing is believing and now I feel rid of many anxieties and stresses I once had they no longer have a place in my life and they no longer will ever have a place in my life if this makes sense but so coming back to the baby picture, when you look at yourself as a child, you see this pure expression of innocence. And when you can understand that you came to this life to live happily ever after, you came forth to have all kinds of experiences, but in the end to choose your best life, to be happy, to be excited, you know when you are in a state of joy, you know what makes you happy. And when you pursue that, the happiness follows, the abundance follows, you attract the most amazing things into your life. When you truly understand that you came here to be happy, you will do whatever you can to be happy for yourself. By looking at a baby photo of yourself, 
you see this expression of innocence, you see that you would want to give this child her best life, his best life. So for example, on my phone right now, I have a background of like me and my baby brother. We are so cute in this photo. <laughs> When I look at this photo, I want to give Zoe, little Zoe, her best chance at life. I want her to live her best life, her truest expression of life. I want her to follow all of the things that make her happy, that allow her to feel joy. When you can separate yourself from the soul to the, from the body, you can almost think of life as a dream or like a game. And if you consider yourself this self here, this body self, to be an avatar, why not go out and pursue all the things that make you happy, excited? Why not have all the fun that there is to have in life for the child within you? I will never be on this earth again as Zoe. My soul will enter into another body. Maybe I'm an animal, you know, maybe I'm a boy, <laughs> you know? I will never be Zoe. There will never be another me, as there will never be another you. So I want you to ask yourself, what am I holding back from this beautiful being that only has limited time here on Earth? Try to think of your life more so as a dream experience. Follow your bliss. Be happy and pursue all the things that make you happy. I don't want to sound morbid again by referring back to this, but your time here is limited. So for me, this helped by looking at a photo of myself as a child. Me as a child, this photo was probably taken, I don't know, 20, 22 years ago. I've done amazing things in 22 years, but I know that I'm growing up fast and I need to keep enjoying my life. I need to keep granting my own wishes. I need to keep making my dreams a reality. In everyday life, if I can ask myself, is this good for Zoe? Does Zoe like this? With any decision, let's say that your friends invite you out on New Year's Eve and they're planning on going to the club and you know that you don't really enjoy the club that much, what's best for Zoe? Maybe Zoe wants to have a quiet dinner with friends or go out for dinner with her friends and then go home. What makes your heart and your soul feel content. When we are faced with bad feelings, maybe feelings of sadness, anxiety, stress, discomfort, any kind of negative feeling is a sign that it's not what your higher self wants. And when we serve our higher selves, when we go after our dreams, our ambitions, our happiness, our bliss, we feel happiness, fulfillment. And that's how we're supposed to live life. This life is a gift. You were gifted with the body, the vessel that you have to live your best life. So moving forward into 2019, I want each and every single one of you to try to differentiate the ego from the soul, the higher self, and what that means to you. And feed your soul with happiness and the experiences that your soul wants. Don't live a life for other people. Don't live a life that you don't like anymore because you're just going to exhaust yourself and you're not going to feel fulfilled. You have this one life right now. Live abundantly, live happily, and move forward in the pursuit of your best and truest expression of life. Anyways, I hope that this video was insightful to you guys and inspired you to make 2019 your best year yet. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love to hear from you, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!